best way to start than solving a math problem. There's a cage. There are eight animals. Some are ducks and some are rabbits. Together, we can see 20 legs. We need to find out how many are rabbits and how many are ducks. How do we solve it in school? Let ducks be equal to x and let rabbits be equal to y. x plus y is equal to 8 because there are 8 animals. Ducks have 2 legs that is 2x plus rabbits have 4 legs that is 4y is equal to 20. This becomes equation number 1 and equation number 2. A concept of simultaneous equation which we have learned in our high school. Now let's find the value of x by taking equation number 1. So x is equal to 8 minus y. Now let's substitute the value of x in equation number 2 to get the value of y. By solving, we get to know that y is equal to 2. So number of rabbits is equal to 2 and number of ducks is equal to 6. Now let's do another way. I said there's a cage, so let me draw a cage. There are 8 animals, so let me draw 8 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. For any animal to have 4 legs, they need to have 2 legs first. So let me start drawing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 4 are remaining. 17, 18, 19, 20. Two rabbits and six ducks. How important it is to visualize. How important it is to understand the question. Most of the children find it difficult because they are not able to understand the question itself. Though we use maths in every aspect of our life, be it cooking, traveling, shopping, forget it. Give a chocolate to a young child and ask the child to share. They'll keep a bigger piece and give you a smaller piece. Even that is mathematics. But still, many of us have this phobia towards mathematics. To solve a problem, the first step is to understand the problem in totality. Hi, my name is Jay Sima, Jay, the CEO of Chrysalis IMAS India Private Limited and Intelligent Math LLC US. The, the company which has been working tirelessly from last 14 years preparing children for math by harnessing the right skills in the right age. Most importantly, help them fall in love with math. As a company, we have done a survey to understand why people develop a phobia towards mathematics. And in this video series, I'll be sharing the findings of our survey so that we address the cause of the fear, not the symptom, and also interact with young math lovers. Keep tuned in to see my next video. Signing off, Jay, your math friend. So today I was reading and I found this really great quote. The only way of learning math is by doing math. Today in our studio we have three incredible guests, Dave, Sanvi, and Aditi. Hi guys! Hi! So what are you going to be teaching us today? Concept of unilateral substitution and addition and subtraction with color code. Color codes? Yes! Yes! yes. I'm eager to learn. Concept of unilateral substitution. Red is 6 and yellow is 8. So 6 plus 8 equals 14. My 14, 14 minus orange, or, which means orange is 3, equals 11. Light blue is 5 and the green is 7, so 5 plus, 5 plus 7 is 12. Minus, minus purple, which is 9, equals 3. Concept of unilateral substitution. Yellow is 8, dark blue is 4. Um, red is 6, 8 minus 4 plus 6 equals 10. Orange is 3, 
Green is 7. 3 plus 7 equals 10. Minus blank equals um, blue. 10 minus um, blue, which is 5, equals blue. Concept of unilateral substitution. Red is 6 minus blue is 4. So 6 minus 4 is 2. Orange is 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5. Blue is 4, plus orange is 3, so 4 plus 3 is 7, so 7 minus blank equals to 4, so the blank is 3. Wow, so it looks like you guys are doing algebra, where a constant is taking a value of a variable. Yes, our IMAP teacher said um, that algebra will be easy for us. Wow, I, I never learned unilateral substitution when I was in preschool. We learned many such concepts in IMAPs. Thanks for coming in, guys. Bye. Bye. Stay tuned and we'll see many more kids explaining many more math concepts. This is Isha Patel, signing off. Did you know? Zero is the only number that cannot be represented in Roman numerals. Can't imagine a life without zero. To keep you updated with our new programs and services and to subscribe to our email list, click on the link below to fill out an easy form. And make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to Channel N.